The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Queen of FCW title. Introducing first from El Paso, Texas. Here she is, Raquel Diaz. Oh, Raquel Diaz all out here by herself. No one from the Ascension here, but I think she wants to make the statement that she can, have, she can win this title without any help. You know, Raquel, she's like a multi-rap present on Christmas morning. You just can't wait to get to the next layer of her personality. I, I like that reference there. I know you would. And her opponent from Lithuania, the reigning queen of FCW champion, Oksana. The sultry temptress herself, as you see holding the crown. And you gotta know, Byron, there is nothing that she wants more than to keep that tiara on her head. I'll tell you, when I see Oksana, and I, I've never admitted this to the world before, but Oksana is my favorite queen of all time. But more than Victoria and Elizabeth and Catherine and all the greats it, in history. They all fall short of Oksana. Wow. Really big, you probably didn't study history in class, did you? I did. The only history that matters right now is what's in the ring. And you see the two of them chomping at the bits here. Raquel especially. And let's not forget, folks, yes, yeah, she is a member of the Ascension, but more importantly, she has got blood of a champion flowing through her, a proud member of the Guerrero family. We see Vicky every week on WWE Raw. SmackDown, hold it. Oh, watch hold out. Hold on a second. The late, great Eddie Guerrero. So if anybody knows what it takes to perform well in the ring, oh, I thought twice in a row there. It's definitely going to be Raquel. Well, here's the thing about Raquel. She's an unproven commodity in the ring. We just, we just, not that she can't go, but we just haven't seen a lot of her in the ring here on FCW TV, which would actually bode to her advantage because there's not a whole lot of tape to study. Absolutely, I, I, I will agree with that. But at the same time, though, Oksana has definitely run through so many of the divas here in FCW. So you got to think, especially as a champion, perhaps I believe the advantage is on her side. Well, it wasn't that long ago that Oksana was walking around here as not just the queen, but the divas champion as well. Oh. Hell. So, so in her case, especially in this match, she's going to probably even want to work harder to make sure that she maintains the title of queen. And folks, if you want to see more great action like this live, make sure to check out the FCW Arena every Thursday. And check us out online at fcwwrestling.com. Ooh, smart move there by Oksana. Oh, now watch this. Look at this. Using the apron curtain there to tie up Raquel and then using it to her advantage. And that's why she's my favorite queen of all time. Great strategy. You tie up your opponent and you attack her from the opposite end. Using illegal tactics is a great strategy. That's not illegal, it's part of the ring. Roxana looks to have Raquel exactly where she wants her. As you can just see, just the throat being choked on the rope. Two. I tell you, I, it, with Oksana, over the last few months, we just we saw this transformation in her personality, a much more aggressive Oksana. So seeing something like sticking her opponent into the, into the skirt of the ring or you know, grabbing her hair or ramming it down, that's, that's become the normal uh, action for a, a, a diva like Oksana because that's just the way she thinks, that's the way she functions these days. Well, let me counterpoint that. You want to talk about the last few months, a new transformation, a darker side, not just Oksana, Raquel as well, being a part of the Ascension, seeing the side that we didn't see when she made her debut, and I think it's really elevated her status and her performance in and out of the ring. Well, you never know who's floating around, which Ascension members are keeping an eye on this man. Absolutely, I think maybe if things go sour, who knows, if we see Cameron, Connor O'Brien, or someone else come out here to help, but right now, she does look to be in a world of trouble. It's not a drop in the elbow here, might have her. And folks, keep locked right here because after this match, we got to also promote this great main event that General Manager Maxine listed up to us at the top of the hour. Leo Cruz. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm going to take a break there. That was a tremendous shot well, right there. Oh. 
Leo Kruger, I was about to say, going to put his Florida Heavyweight Championship on the line next against Seth Rollins, but this is a great match here as well. This little neck breaker. Oksana is, in, I was going to say, in firm control. That's all right. Cover. Uh, another roll there. I mean, back and forth action. This is what you expect when you're part of that Guerrero family, that Guerrero lineage. You're always going to fight. You're always going to try to pick yourself up and never quit. But backslide here. Oh. Still only a one count. So close. Well, what's going to happen to you over here, Byron? It looks like you're pulling for Oksana. No, no I'm it's, calling the match. I mean, this is like a very competitive match. You're going to be devastated here. If, if, if Raquel pulls it off, which she might if she gets it. No! Oh, great counter on. Or, I thought maybe it was a counter to counter, but Oksana picking up Raquel again. What world? Gets her, uh-oh. Uh-oh, Byron, we've seen this before. Oh, you know what it's all about. Are we going to see that patented third one? I believe so. Can she get her over? Yes, she can. The three amigos. Oh, but still not enough to put away our queen. And you know, I think Oksana getting put into this match. We saw Oksana have a very tumultuous relationship with our general manager Maxine, and I don't know if this is uh, a what blessing. What is Raquel doing here? Whoa! Are you kidding me? Uh, this is this is her grandfather here. No way. The gory bomb. That is definitely petted. Guerrero is that enough? Yes, it is. A new queen. Your FCW. A new queen of FCW. Raquel. Gosh, Byron, we have a new queen. Uh, uh, apparently we do. Oh, don't stutter, don't stammer. That is absolutely, just look at that. I, I'm still in shock of what we just saw. The pearly whites, the smile. We have got to take a look at what we just saw, how she was able to finagle the crown away from Oksana. First the three amigos, one after another after another, and then once she didn't get that pinfall right there, picks up Oksana into a glory bomb, another Guerrero special for the one, two, three. How Raquel had the strength to perch Oksana on her back is beyond me, but hey, we got a new queen. And might we have a new Florida champion? Who knows the way it's going tonight. Coming up next, the Florida Heavyweight Championship is on the line. The following.